I'm going to start by uh, creating a new Laravel instance to run this project with. So I'm going to run that command Laravel new and then the project name. So we'll click inside of our terminal and I'll run Laravel new and then the name of our project here that I'm going to use is uh, Cedar Project. And I'll do this. Actually, let's just call it SP for short, Cedar Project. And again, this would be whatever you're calling your project name. Uh, I'm just using this as test purpose for test purpose. So here we go, Laravel new SP. That's going to create the new Laravel install and install all of the files. Pretty basic here. So after this goes and runs, we are going to run uh, a little bit of the scaffolding to get us started. And that means a migration on a model. So let's make our first uh, migration. We'll CD into the SP folder. And I'm gonna say subl dot to open it up in Sublime. And now inside of this, I'm going to run that migration. So I'm gonna run that art, make, colon, and then migration. And then the name of the migration that I'm going to create. So in this instance, I'm going to make a, uh, a people system. So maybe I have an idea I want to do a CRM or maybe I want to see it in users or cats or whatever it is. You can see it, of course, any data. But I think people uh, will do the best for this example uh, because there's a lot of fields that we can go and fake and that people have, such as addresses and phone numbers and things like that. So art to make migration and I'm going to call this people. Uh, and I'm going to do lowercase people and it's going to create my migration and then I'm going to make a model so I'm going to say art make colon and then this is our model and our mar model is going to be uppercase person so that's our person and people uh, setup so from here we can go in and reference uh, our model by going to app and then person and see it and then our database we can set up inside of our migrations file here. So I'm going to do like I normally do and just grab from the user one and paste it on the uh, people one. And I'm going to call the table people. And people have an ID and people have a name. Well, I'm going to go with the first name. I'm going to do an underscore there. And then I don't need an email address. Well, I could use an email address and it could be unique, but um, yeah, let's, nah, let's just do an email address as a string. I'm not going to remove the unique thing because I don't want to talk about that just yet. So, uh, first name, and of course we want to do a last name. So we're going to grab that and paste that. And then we want to do an address. So I'm going to do address and then an address. Um, I, I usually do address too. Some people do street, uh, name and things like that or street. Um, then of course we have a zip code, um, and we have a state and so I can do state. And finally, we don't want to forget we have a city and then we have a phone number for the user. I'll put that one up top here, phone. And here's first name becomes last name also. And I think that person should have a title because the CRM system, like what is there? And then maybe they have a business. So we'll put in the business. So here we go. Um, also, I think they might have a photo and I wanna talk about photos a little bit with Faker because there's some cool things you can do with Faker and seeding some of your data into the system. So at this point now we have people, it has an ID, first name, last name, title, business, phone number, email, address one, address two, city, zip code, state, and a photo. And these order, you know, really depends on how you wanna set up your database table. Um, I just kinda do it like, I don't know, I don't really thought too much about it. It usually comes to the things, I, I, the most popular items, the ones that you would think would come first based on the way someone would fill out the form. I usually set up my database in that order as well. So now that this is set up, I can go and migrate this. So I'm going to say art migrate. And uh, oh, I didn't set up my database yet. 
So let's set up our database. So here's our EMV file, and we of course need to make one. So I'm gonna make SP, just the name of my project. This is of course a root, and this is empty, and that's because I'm running the Laravel valet system the way I've set it up. So now I need to go and create that. I'm gonna of course use SQL Pro to do so. I'm gonna click on my valet instance, make a new database, and I'm gonna call it SP. So now SP has been added. Now I can run that art migrate, and you'll see my tables have been migrated. So at this point now I can create my first cedar. So to do that, I'm gonna say art make colon cedar. And it says, hey, you need to give it a name. So what am I gonna name this cedar? And I'm gonna say, call this the people. So P-E-O people cedar. And I'm gonna do that uh, uh, uppercase syntax. So people cedar and click enter and it's created the cedar. So now that we have our cedar, in the next episode, we're actually going to populate our cedar with our model and create a sample in the system. Here we go.